Hi, this is Angela Boll, the Chief Executive Officer at the Independent Book Publishers Association, and I'm here to present a brief instructional video on how to sign up for group discussion forums within IVPA's new Social Link platform. So we will jump right in. First, I wanted to show you where you can find our group discussion forums from the homepage of the website. There are three places. The first is under Membership. You can scroll down to Discussion Forums. The second is under Resources. You can also scroll down to Discussion Forums. And the third place is if you scroll just down on the home page and you're kind of looking through everything, you'll find here we have Member Benefits, Educational Opportunities, and again, Discussion Forums, where you can click to learn more. Any of these links will take you to the landing page where we describe what IVPA Group Discussion Forums are. These are very new to us. Um, they're just one week old. So we're getting started in onboarding all of our members now. You can look on the home page to find the guidelines for the program and also a disclaimer about the program. And you'll also see what's list listed here, the group discussion forums that we currently have activated. We are interested in creating different discussion forums. If you are, we just ask that you let us know and we'll help you out. So if you know of a different topic that you'd like to create a specific discussion forum for, please do contact project manager Mimi Lee. Um, and she will get back to you and talk through what the options might be for setting that up. Uh, we do have a number of discussion forums that are specific to areas, but in, we also have this general Q&A, which is the one discussion forum that we recommend all IBPA members register for. And I want to walk through setting yourself up for that one now, and signing up for the other discussion forums should then be pretty self-explanatory. So let's say you're coming to the website for the first time and you want to sign up for the general Q&A discussion board. You'll click on that link and you'll be directed to a member login page. All of our discussion forums are member only, so you do need to log in to access them. We'll come down here and I will log in as a test record we've created for this purpose. I'll enter my username and password and sign in. Okay, so now I'm signed into what we call Social Link. Social Link looks like this all the time, where you have your top bar here and whatever you're doing on the web page here. Right now, I'm noticing that um, I've just tried to get into the general discussion forum, and it tells me it's a private group, but that this group allows for membership without administration or administrative approval. So all I need to do to join it is be an active member. So when I sign in, I get to the screen, and then click Join Group above. So right here, I'll go ahead and click Join Group. Are you sure you want to join this group? Okay. And here we are. All of our discussion forums will follow the same general format, which means that when you come to the home page for discussion forums, you'll find a top tile here that describes um, the rules and instructions and essentially how to engage in this discussion board. So here we have um, the discussion forum rules and instructions for the general board. Um, I'll let you go ahead and read through when you get in there. I just want to highlight a couple of steps that we'd really like you to take in order to make the experience you have with the discussion board the best it can be. The first thing is to know where the forums are. So in the general discussion board, we've created a number of different discussion forums. Um, they are not here in the main well. A lot of members I've seen in other forums have come here into the group feed and started posting and asking questions here in group feed. This is just, a group feed is just kind of a, a more social area, I would say. This is not where the question and answer portion of the forum happens. It's, it's again, just kind of like a social function. What's going on today? How are you doing? Kind of a thing. So you're welcome to post there. But if you want to get into the actual forums, you're going to go to forums uh, located to the right of your screen. So you'll find them here under features. You'll also find them here but you'll find them here in terms of the instructions, so that's where we'll click. Here you'll find the list of all the forums associated with this group discussion board. So there's one board with many forums, and in the general discussion board, we've created a number of different topics and subjects you could click into. So if you have questions about libraries, you'd click into libraries, uh, subsidy rights, you'd click into subsidy rights, etc. And in each one of these discussion forums that we've set up, we've also posted um, what we're calling previously asked questions. So the top, uh, I guess you would say, post in each of these forums is actually a link to a document that is some of the highlighted 
previously asked questions we've received in these categories. So that's a great place to start as a new member in the discussion board uh, is to download those previously asked questions and kind of familiarize yourself with what people have asked and, and what others have answered. That should create a good base of foundation for you. Once you've gone ahead and done that, should you have a question or just kind of want to explore, you could click into one of the forums, for example, audio. Here your topics will be listed and latest post, the author of that post, etc. If you wanted to post a topic in here, if you have a question, for example, you click New Topic. Very simple, self-explanatory. You'd give your, sub your topic a subject. You would type your question in here. You would attach any images or files that might help illustrate what uh, problem you're having or illustrate something about the question you're asking, and then you would submit it. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because it, oh, invalid form, you can't cancel unless you put something in, because if you do submit it, it does show up and emails everybody that um, there's a question. We've already tested that, so we have a test subject here uh, from this account from Susan Test Case. So you can see once you ask your question, it's going to be posted as a topic right under previously asked questions, which is locked as the top uh, form question here. So questions will start to kind of populate under here. Now, in order to be notified when new questions are asked within each forum topic, you do need to subscribe. So right under forum actions, let's say you wanted to be notified every time somebody asked a question about audiobooks, you would subscribe to instant updates here. Now that means, are you sure you want to subscribe? Okay. That means every time someone posts a topic or a question in this particular forum, audio, you'll be notified. You won't be notified when people post questions in the other forum topics like book reviews or bookstore or design unless you also go into design, for example. Now I'm in design. You go to forum actions and you subscribe to instant updates. So now I'm subscribed to receive updates whenever any member goes in and posts for the audiobook forum and the design forum. I could do that for all of the forums if I wanted. I, I personally have done that. Um, or I could just leave it to the forums of, in which I have the most interest. Okay, so that's the first tip. The first tip is to make sure you subscribe to instant updates in every one of the forums that you're interested in. The next tip is to add a signature, a form signature, so that every time you interact with the system, you don't always have to retype who you are. So you would do that by getting back into your form screen, clicking on My Subscriptions and Settings, and coming into the form signature area. So I've added a simple signature for Susan, um, which I know will display at the bottom of each post that Susan submits in any form that she is a member of. You can make this say whatever you'd like, and you can always come in and change it, um, spelling out the name if you'd like, and saving the signature. You'll also notice that you have options here. Again, you have subscribed to Instant Updates for audiobook and for design. You can click to unsubscribe here, or you can click to subscribe to the Digest, which I think is a weekly update of everything that's happened in that board. So you can kind of monitor your preferences. You can get an instant update, and you can subscribe to the Digest, or you can say, I actually just want to get um, the Digest, and you can unsubscribe, vice versa, et cetera. So you can manage your forum activities through that link. Now you may have noticed we've kind of jumped out of the group itself, and we've gotten to a different page, which is your um, information and settings page where you can manage your forum subscriptions. That's okay, because um, you're still in the overall social link website. And to get back to groups, all you need to do is come up to your navigation bar and click groups. And you'll come right back into the area that houses, if you will, all of the group, uh, the general discussion boards and groups, group discussion forums that IBP has active. So now when I click into groups, I see I have my groups. I've joined the general discussion board, so it shows up in my main well. And I also have other groups that I could join, including young professionals, future publishers, all the groups you saw on the home page before. Now I could also decide, again, that I, I want to join future publishers. I haven't published my book yet, and I want to start having conversations with others who haven't published their book yet. So very quickly, I can join the group, 
Are you sure you want to join this group? Yes. And now that shows up in my groups as well. Now I also know, however, that just joining the group doesn't get me the instant updates. So I want to click into that future publishers group. I want to go to the forum. I want to click into the discussion. And in my forum actions, I want to subscribe to instant updates. Are you sure you want to subscribe? Yes. So now anytime anyone posts a question in the general discussion for future publishers, I will be notified uh, via email and I can log back into my account and check it out. So you'll start to get familiar with the site. There's a number of things. You could go to Group Home to get right back to the Future Publishers homepage here. You can always just click in the main navigation. You could click Groups to get back to the general groups form. Start signing up for other groups if you'd like. Uh, but that will become more clear to you. Now, the last uh, point that I want to make in this instructional video is something about what we call experts. So within the IVPA community, we have identified certain people who we call experts in our community. These are people who have spoken at Publishing University, who have provided great advice in the past, who we go to for advice ourselves, uh, who have presented webinars for us, just generally people who we trust to give good advice. And we've marked those people, a little pink star, right on the bottom corner of their profile picture. So I'm going to go ahead and click into Mimi Lee, who many of you know as our amazing project manager. And you can see Mimi has a pink star to the right bottom corner of her profile. If you see a pink star like this, you know that you're talking with or communicating with what we're calling an IVPA expert in our online community. So we hope that that helps you know, um, you know who we're involved with and working with as well. Um, and also, you'll get responses from other members too, and, and that's wonderful. We want to bring the whole community forward while also providing some understanding of who we're working with at the same time. So that is what that pink star will mean to you. Click back to get to my groups page, and we'll call that a training. So again, today we discussed how to register yourself for a group once you're registered to that group, how to sign up for instant feeds, how to set up your forum signature, and what it means when people respond to your group posts and they have a little pink star in the bottom right corner of their profile picture. I hope this recording has been helpful to you. We'll set up other trainings in the future. In the meantime, we hope you have fun with the new system. Thank you.